Hi, so I know there's been talk about a poly iso board shortage out there, and I'm here to tell you that an alternative to that might be spray polyurethane foam roofing. Hi, my name is Greg Pally. I'm with West Roofing Systems, and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. Today, we're going to talk about you know what's a good alternative to poly iso board insulation, and the quick answer it's spray polyurethane foam. It's another roofing insulation. It's been used for 40 plus years. There's a lot of benefits and some negatives to it, but if you're short on poly iso board and you have projects that are lined up, spray foam can be a good alternative to it. Uh, so let's get into some questions here related to the subject. First thing is, can it be used on any roofing substrate? Uh, yes, spray foam can be sprayed on metal, TPO, EPDBM, uh, built up roofing, modified ones. It could be used on any roofing substrate or deck. Can the slope be easily customized? I know some people are used to customizing their slope um, with ISO board, um, but spray foam can be easily sloped as well. It's just spray applied, it's fluid applied, so just spray a little extra and you get it rise up here, a little less and it'll go down here. It's pretty simple. So yes, the slope can be easily customized uh, with spray foam, as opposed to a tapered one, which I know is harder and more expensive kind of to do than, than foam. Uh, spray foam, a good benefit is that it has cell, closed cell properties. So when a cut or a puncture happens on a foam roof, water will just sit in a cut and just sit there. It won't keep going down. It won't be saturated. It won't go down to your building or to your deck at all. Um, this is opposed to um, ISO board, which if it gets a puncture or a crack in it, you know, water gets in there and it keeps saturating lower and lower. It'll go vertical, it'll spread horizontal, and it'll saturate a decent portion of your roofing system. So if you're hesitant on using foam at all, a one good positive it has is that it has closed cell uh, insulation. Um, our value, our value for ISO board is around 5.5 per inch of thickness. Spray foam is about 6.5 per inch of thickness. So if you're looking at an ISO insulation and you're worried about our value, uh, spray foam is a little bit better. So certainly if you're looking for an alternative, uh, spray foam might be a little bit of a pro actually. And the last thing, uh, it's available. Uh, Pileosa board is no good if it's not available. Uh, spray foam has been available all year round. We've been using it uh, since the start of the season and we're still going strong. Um, and that's really it. I know some people are skeptical because they never heard of foam roofing and this is their first time maybe using this because ISO board isn't even available. Uh, but if you have any questions, reach out to us at any time. And if you want to learn anything more about what we talked about today, please click the link below. There's a blog post there where you can learn more. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.